computer science videos here today to show you guys in this tutorial how to create a text file using terminal on a Mac computer without further ado let us start the video so in this tutorial you need to have access to a Mac computer be able to use terminal and terminal commands to create a text file so we're gonna start the tutorial we can now go all the way down to the dock go to launchpad search for the command prompt terminal which should be built into the Mac computer. Let's now increase the size of the terminal window, increase the text size using command plus a couple of times. Now, before we create the text file that we wish to create and then use, let's now navigate to the desktop, CD desktop. LS minus L to view everything on the same line as we change directory. Now, this is the most important part of the video, how to create a text file. How do we do it? The alternative method without using terminal or commands is to go all the way down to the dock, go to launchpad, search for your favorite text editor, and then we can create the text file from there However, in this tutorial, the command to do that is touch and then the name of the text file we wish to create. Let's just call it file.txt. Enter and there we see file.txt has now been created on the desktop. What we can do is open that text file if we wish to, or we can open that inside the terminal command prompt. So, as you may have seen in the previous tutorial, how that was done, let's do that again. So, using the nano command nano file tab enter and there we are inside the text file using the command prompt so let's just type something Hello, this is Computer Science Videos. Let's now exit the text file in the terminal Use the cat command to view the contents of the text file in terminal And there we go. Hello, this is Computer Science Videos all from the terminal Just to recap we changed directory to the desktop and listed everything on screen and then we used the touch command to create file.txt then we used nano to add content to the file.txt and finally the cat command to view everything on screen so we can now clear the terminal cd quit terminal and so that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for now. Thank you for making it towards the end of the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Computer Science Videos. Be sure to check out the previous video on screen now. Or you can ideally click on the playlist and watch all the journey for Computer Science Videos from the start until now.